ask him these questions before sleeping together. In this video, you will discover no matter what type of woman you are, we're going to talk about two types of women today and what you should actually ask. So you actually start to feel like, like re respected after sleeping with him, right? Like you have clarity, right? You being honored. So we talk about all of that in this video, because what oftentimes happens is that you get involved physically too early with a man. And then of course you get attached to him or you get involved with not enough clarity, right? So there's not enough communication, there are misunderstandings, there are misinterpretations, and I'm giving you a tool today to avoid that as well. Now, if you are ready to learn how to be the best woman to attract the right man for you, then pop into the comment section, I am ready. I'm of course, Antje Boyd, founder and creator of the Magnetize Your Man Method, and look, this is the channel where we magnetize your man so that the man you want, desires, and most importantly, pursues you forever, right? Like this is the biggest thing. And look, if you like anything, what I wear, what I share, anything about my background, go do me a favor and give it a like. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe bell as well so you get notified for more juicy content coming your way. And lastly, sharing is caring. So forward it to a girlfriend or two. So let's go ahead and dive right into the three questions you should ask before sleeping with a man. Number three is what's the intention of your dating? Now, this is actually really interesting because I was just um, talking with a client of mine who sent me screenshots of a conversation that she had with a guy. And it turned out that what really ended up happening when they had this conversation about what's the intention of your dating is that he wanted sex with maybe a little bit of a relationship and she wanted the relationship with maybe a little bit of sex, right? So like the emphasis was more on the relationship versus on the sex, right? So for him, it was more like, oh, okay, you know, if I must, you know, if I must add on the relationship, I will, but I will definitely make more like a sexual connotations and remarks and things like that because I'm very physical and I want sex very early on and do some expectations and things like that, right? And of course, she didn't feel safe with that. So she's like, no, I need to feel, I need to create an emotional foundation first, right? I need to feel safe first before I get physically involved. So really great because then she could distinguish like, you know what, not the right match for me. And it was great. It was very mutually respectful, right? It's like, and he even said like, hey, this doesn't sound like it's a match, um, but just really respectful. And I, I really thought that was really amazing. So what you want to do is really like, what's the intention of your dating? And, and the reason why I say that is because a lot of women, they start to make assumptions. But as you know, assume means make an ass of you and me, right? If you put assume together. So you don't want to do that. And you want to start filling in the blanks. Because what happens is, especially if you are more anxious attachment style, right? You live more in the future. You live more in possibility. However, you don't communicate that. So let me just clarify that. So you, you are, you're expecting a man to live in the same future with you without communicating it. Why you're not communicating it is because you learned as a child, don't be a burden, don't be bothered. So you're not like you're communicating as little as possible and you make as many assumptions as you possibly can without having to check in with the other person because checking in with the other person and asking them a question caused pain in past in the past right so that's why you want to actually train yourself what's the intention of your dating if you even if you think you already know even if you already read this online dating profile like ask him what's the intention of your dating now what happened to me personally which was really cool was when i was dating this guy before I met my husband, I did the same thing. I just really said, you know, I was dating him and he had, you know, he had a sailboat and he, he was really amazing. We were compatible in some ways. And, you know, but I was like, you know, there was some things where he never really talked about the future. He likes to live in the now, which there's nothing wrong with that. But it just kind of like there was some red flags. I started to red flags. I started to notice. And so I asked him, like, what's the intention of your dating? 
And then he came back the next day and he said, you know, what? like, I just want to be like dating and I never want to get married. I never want to have kids and things like that. Right. So I'm like, oh, well, I, I thank you for telling me before I even get involved with you because especially physically, right? Because I want to get married and I do want to have kids at some point. I'm not like I don't have to get need kids no, tomorrow, but I want to have kids. Right. So this was back then. So fantastic way, you know, we parted ways, fantastic, uh, still friends. And um, he is dating a woman who he doesn't have kids with and he is not married to. So there you go, right? Number two is when you say that, what does that mean to you? Okay, so this is really important to this goes into the same category of making assumptions. So what happens is, so let's say you're meeting a guy and let's say he's like, I want to have like a, 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 like a relationship. Yeah, I want to be committed to you. Okay, cool. When you say that, I want to be committed to you, what does that mean to you? Meaning, does that mean talking to me twice a month, you know, while you think, well, obviously commitment means we're checking in once a day. So do you see how even the word commitment has a very different connotation or internal representation for different people, right? So when the man says, you know, nine, of course I want to commit to you. When you say that, what does that mean to you? And then he may say, you know, we'll see each other like once a week, you know, whenever I'm available, right? And you're basically hearing, wait, that, is, that means I'm not really the priority for him. Versus actually hearing from him, you know, what does it mean to me? It's like, you know, I really want to make sure I meet your needs. Um, I want to make sure we communicate consistently so that I know where you're at and that you know where I'm at and that there's never misunderstanding, things like that, right? So see how you have like both of those um, experiences. And the reason why I mentioned that again, is like the anxious woman, right? Like jumps in way too early and makes assumptions all the time, right? Um, and number one is what's your priority right now? So I don't know about you, but the women that come to me that join my Magnetize Your Man program, right? They actually want to be the number one. They want to feel chosen. They want to be a priority for the man, right? And so like, it's a good idea to actually ask, what's your priority right now? Because if he's like, you know, my, my priority really is work right now. That probably means, and by the way, you can follow it up when you say that, what does that mean to you? So see how this all works together now, right? Like, and then he'll say, well, you know what? There's going to be a lot of late nights, um, weekends where I'm not available, right? Like, oh, I, I be, may be on call a lot. You know, I dated a guy and every other weekend he was on call. And I'm not even kidding you. This could be like that we were just cuddling. We just had a good time. We're in the middle of dinner. And here we go. He's on call. He was a programmer. And he just has to get up and, and fix the problem, right? That, of course, doesn't make you feel like you are a priority. You know, well, my priority right now is um, my health, right? So I, I put my health first right now. And then you can see again, so when when you say that, what does that mean to you, right? Like, oh, that means I'm going to bed early. And that means I can't see you on Friday night or Saturday night. So you see how this works? So that's what you want to do. And you get so many questions answered that you didn't even know you needed the answer to, right? So again, there's, um, there's like two types of women. There's the one woman that learns in a relationship, so she gets involved rather quickly with men, also physically. And then there's the other type of woman that learns outside of the relationship. So don't be afraid if you are the second type, because I was the second type as well. I was never in a long-term relationship until I met my husband Brody. And luckily for me, I'm so happy I did because I never got really heavily involved with someone that went through a massive heartbreak or I got so attached that I couldn't cut the ties, right? Or even worse, um, kids were involved, things like that. So it got, so regardless what type of woman you are, but this is the three questions you want to ask before you get involved. And the reason why I say the second type of woman, because don't be afraid of the answer that makes you potentially walk away short term because long term, right? The right man is already waiting at the next stop 
sign. Now, if you want to discover how to attract the right man for you, then take my free quiz, mymquiz.com. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and watch next. When a man deeply loves you, he will start saying these five things. Lots of love to you, ladies, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.